The clown demon laughs and laughs looking at their face who was in constant fear. He was exuding a demonic aura at them. Sir Sevian Virox, still in fear and freezing looking at the clown demon, said, I thought all the demons had vanished. Just how? Just by facing this high-ranking demon, everyone could sense its evil. Evil is the term called in this verse as the dark energy released by this demon could cause extreme fear that can make someone freeze. That dark energy spread throughout the party in an instant. They felt extreme fear and anxiety and they became engulfed by all types of negative emotions. With one move of the finger of this clown demon, the soldiers flew towards him. Sir Virox could only shout since he could not still move from the influence of evil. The clown demon laughs and starts to torment them. He cast a spell and used it on one of the soldiers that made it wrap his body in a dark fabric. That man shouted in fear asking Sir Virox to help him. The clown demon got annoyed at the soldier who asked for help from Sir Virox. He said, hey, I own you so who are you talking to? Then he flicks his finger and the next thing that happens is that the soldier becomes headless and one head comes flying with a bent helmet from the magic of the demon clown. The man on his side starts to shout to see that his comrade died like that. The clown demon laughs while clapping his hand and moving his feet from joy. He said, a magic that can rip off a head. Isn't it amazing? All right, now all of you clap. The clown demon continuously laughs ominously but on the other hand, Sir Virox's face shows that he is still in fear and starts to lose hope because the one who was tormented by this clown demon is the soldiers under him. In his mind, even though my valuable soldiers are being taken away, even though they are being killed mercilessly in front of me, I cannot move at all. The ferocity of the evil that the clown demon was exuding made everyone in the party freeze. In this hopeless situation where everyone's movement were restricted, one person started charging at the demon clown. His name was Irene Parera. Even the clown demon was alarmed to see that Irene was able to move and started to run at him summoning his great sword that exudes light. Irene still runs toward the clown demon aiming to slash him down. Sir Virox who was watching wants to ask him, Irene Parera, just how? How can you charge at the clown demon without hesitation? The clown demon laughs as he plans to make the Palenque soldier his meat shield. He said, stop, if you don't, then I am going to kill them all. But Irene never falters in his scheme as he continues to charge at the clown demon. This annoyed the clown demon, and with a flick of his finger, he threw all of the soldiers towards Irene. He was able to evade, but those guys hit the ground. The soldiers were screaming as they were as they were thrown away like they were some sort of balls. While he was charging at the demon, what Irene wants to say is, I am sorry, I understand that my actions right now are endangering the lives of the expedition party. I might be giving their families and friends irreplaceable scars. All their anger and hatred might be directed at me, but I won't disregard that. I am moving forward with the determination to face this responsibility. In front of this wicked demon, I will not hesitate. When Irene was approaching the clown demon, this evil being casts dark magic directly targets Irene, a large ball of dark energy. But Irene didn't waver from rushing to this guy and did not hesitate aiming to slash him. The demon releases that dark magic but Irene was able to cut that magic and hit the clown demon who was barely able to evade that attack. At that slash, Irene was able to hit him in his palm. The demon shouted in pain but he still could not believe at what happened. In his mind, it is impossible. A sword that cut darkness? The clown demon who was annoyed cast another spell. He shouted, you bastard. Fine, as you wish, I will kill them all. Irene looks behind, alarmed to see that the soldiers who were under the captive control of the clown demon were now being targeted by a new magic dark spikes aimed at their heads. The soldiers pleaded for help, their desperate eyes reflecting the direness of their situation. Ruru transforms into her human form and casts a barrier that blocks all of the magic spikes. She told Irene to leave the soldiers to her. Irene thanks Ruru for her support. Then Irene continues to run towards the clown demon in which this evil creature casts a barrier spell to protect himself from Irene. While the clown demon embedded itself in a barrier to protect against Irene's attacks, Irene didn't hesitate and continued to unleash a barrage of continuous assaults on the demon's defensive shield. While trying to defend itself, the clown demon began to recollect something from its past. In his mind, this feels familiar. Yeah, I have definitely seen that sword before. But when? Where was it? Who the hell are you? 
The commander Perry Martins was doing his best to escape from evil. He said, the evil is gradually getting weaker. I can move a little now. But Ilya suddenly pops up running. She said, it is not over yet. We need to quickly go and help Irene. Sir Perry was shocked, in his mind, Ilya Lindsay, to think she overcame the evil so quickly. Because of that Sir Perry and Sir Virox were doing their best to move and escape from the bind of evil. With the continuous slashes of Irene, he managed to break through the barrier of the clown demon. His sword gleamed brighter as he approached, taking aim to slash at the back of the demon. As he was approaching, the clown demon laughed at him. The clown demon said, I remembered now. So it was you, Karen Winker. It was you. Then he released a strong dark magic all over the area, causing even Irene to be alarmed. Then a sudden ball of light appeared and the one who was at it was a woman standing holding a sword. Both the clown demon and Irene just watch it as it grows bigger and bigger. The one who was holding that ball of light with the tip of her sword was actually Ignet Crescentia and the one who was casting is Anya. Anya was crying while casting the magic. She said, Anya used up everything she had saved up for three years. Then Ignet pointed her sword at the clown demon and said go. Then that large ball of magical light was released and everything was destroyed on its way. It hit the clown demon and he shouted in pain as his body starts to crack down into pieces. After that, the combined attack of both Ignet and Anya created a large crater on the ground, bearing witness to the destructive power unleashed. Irene, panting from his relentless assault on the clown demon a while ago, surveyed the aftermath. On the other hand, all that remained of the clown demon was nothing but his crumbled body and dark liquid on the ground. Sir Virox, who was amazed by that attack said, Wow, that was remarkable. Defeating that demon in one go, really, it was an unbelievable power. Sir George together with the other black knights hurriedly ran towards their captain asking her if she is alright, but Ignet told everyone to halt since she noticed something strange. The dark liquid left on the ground from the previous attack began to compress once again, slowly forming the demon clown. Despite the regeneration, the demon clown remained in agony. He communicated with them, expressing that the attack had been too extreme. The demon clown's body reverted to its original shape, and with a shout, he unleashed a powerful surge of dark magic energy. Ignat shouted, it is dangerous. Everyone, get back. Then both Ignet and Irene didn't hesitate and rushed towards the clown demon who they thought was trying to escape. While Ignet and Irene were running aiming to gang up the demon clown informed them that it was time to bid farewell. With that, he crumbled the magical stone in his hand. A dark circle of energy emerged, and the one closest at that time was Irene. They were all alarmed and all of them felt the dark energy spreading throughout the entire area. The next thing that happens is Karen Winker is in the dark area holding his great sword, in his mind. Where is this place? I cannot see anything. How much time has passed? I was sure I was chasing a demon. Then he saw a bright light that made him question what is that light? In that light, Irene appeared and called Karen Winker. Karen Winker was alarmed to hear his name from a random person he didn't know. Karen Winker asks, who are you? How do you know my name? Irene replied, with the help of a comrade, I have seen memories from a past life. It might be hard to believe. Karen Winker, you are my previous life. Karen Winker was shocked to hear that. He said, previous life? What does that mean? In that case, I must be dead. Irene didn't reply and stayed silent. Realizing the truth, Karen Winker's face began to show signs of sadness. Karen Winker said, I have wandered the world for a long time. But suddenly, I could see nothing. The village I lived in, the castle I visited, the cities, and my homeland Gosco. Irene said, your homeland disappeared hundreds of years ago. Your family, your people, your descendants. They are all gone now. However, the ones to protect still exist. Then Irene summons the sort of light that can cut down the darkness that makes Karen Winker shock. Karen Winker noticed a burning flame of light within Irene. It reflected his unwavering will, reminiscent of the past dedication he had shown during years of continuous sword training, slashing down again and again. Karen Winker said, to think someone with the same purpose as me, in such a fine young man. Karen Winker touched Irene's sword and assured him that it was okay to rest now, expressing his trust and leaving everything in his hands. Then Karen Winker vanished like he was being absorbed by the Sword of Light of Irene Parera. 
Irene felt that the sword is completely different from before, that the sword feels like a part of his body. Then Irene goes back into reality slashing down the dark space that was created by the clown demon. The clown demon was alarmed about the sudden appearance of Irene in the space he created. The clown demon said, No, how did you enter this space quickly? Irene asks Karen Winker who was in his sword to lend him his strength then his great sword shines brighter compared to before. The clown demon said, Wait, hold on, calm down and listen to me. Irene told the clown demon that he had no interest in hearing any story that came out of his mouth. The clown demon was sweating thinking of ways to buy time and escape. He said, your comrades are all sealed within me. Don't you want to save them? Your chances of winning against me aren't that high. If you lose, your comrades might remain sealed within me forever. You should think carefully. Irene remained silent after hearing that. In the clown demon's mind, is he hesitating? You humans are all the same just a bit longer. Then suddenly Irene asks the demon if buying time benefits him. The clown demon's eyes start to widen knowing that his schemes were spotted by Irene. He asks him how did he know? Irene said, still using vile methods, I see, but it won't work on me. Then a sudden crack appears again. The one who came out from that crack was Ignet Crescentia. The clown demon starts to panic realizing that of all people the woman who is a threat to him appeared. Ignette cannot believe that Irene appeared first so she asks, Are you Irene Parera? How long have you been here? Speak! How did you reach the demon before me? Irene didn't say anything, in Ignette's mind. This guy is still weaker than me, that fact hasn't changed. But how did he manage to reach the source of magic first? Then the barrier started to swirl when another person tries to thrust her sword in. It was Ilya. Ignette looks at Ilya she said, Ilya Lindsay? Even George, the vice captain of the Black Knights, couldn't penetrate this darkness. How did you overcome it? Ilya glares at her first thinking that she was underestimated by this woman. Ilya shouted, what the hell are you talking about? Why wouldn't I be able to? Ignat was shocked that she was being shouted at by this girl. She asks, what did you say? But since there is an important matter, she told Ilya that she will just ask questions later. She said, first, we must finish off that disgusting creature. These three strongest are now going to fight this evil demon clown who made Irene's predecessor suffer. They emit different auras but they have the same goal which is to beat this demon. The final battle is about to start. 